Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday story time. We got Jesse and we got Tucker just gave me a kiss. Good boy, Tuck. Hi. And Jesse. All right, guys. I'm here to promote my donation drive and to read a book. All right. And I'm going to upload it to YouTube when I'm finished. So I'll be able to watch it again and again and again. All right. A couple of shout outs. Um, as you know, I'm going to be having a donation drive in a week. And a couple of shout outs. Dina and Stella have generously already donated monetary uh, donations. And also yesterday, Dina gave me this. She has a little Miss Winkles. Can you see that? Super cute. With some Lysol, which Miss Winkles needs, and some wipes. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. The dogs appreciate it. Um, another shout out to my website. Woohoo! www.jessythepitmix. There she goes. She has to get her two cents in. Dot com. And on that website, you can go and you can donate if you'd like to. There's a drop-down menu. I've got lots of things. I've got like a store there with my books. My books are available there. They're available on Amazon. They're available on Barnes & Noble. But um, also on the website, I have some recipes for dogs. And I have some... Let's see, what do I have? Pictures of past donation drives, my book launch, um, other things that I've done, and my latest blog, as I shared earlier, is, um, is pretty much about the donation drive. It is, it, one week from today, on the 12th, Jesse's 10th Gotcha Day, and it'll be my fifth annual donation drive for Miss Winkles, where she was adopted from, and Last year, um, in 2021, they adopted out over 700 um, cats and dogs to their forever families. So it always feels good to give back to the place where Jesse came from. And uh, they get a lot of support from the community, which they absolutely deserve. Um, so, yeah, if you have a chance to donate, that'd be great. You could drop it off at my house or... You know, you could go to the onto the website. Now, a little note about the website. If you are on your smartphone, sometimes, depending on your search engine um, or browser, sometimes those ads get in the way. So make sure that you're on either an iPad or a computer, and um, it seems to work better that way as far as getting directly there without all the other stuff that you know, gets in the way. All right, so in my YouTube channel, give me, um, subscribe. I was going to say follow. Um, subscribe and like. I have a lot of videos of me reading um, all of my Jesse books and some other stuff, too. Um, and I'll put the dogs on again at the end. So, YouTube channel is also Jesse the Pit Mix. All right, here we go. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm a pit bull. I know, I know. Pit bulls are mean. Huh. Yeah, right. Well, I'm here to say you can't believe everything you hear. Enough of that. More about me. I must admit, I might be a little funny looking at first glance, but everyone thinks I am gorgeous, at least to those that matter. And I happen to agree. My hair is soft and shiny and kind of short. Definitely easy to manage. Can you imagine what those long hairs go through? Just to wash their hair? I'm also missing one of my front teeth. Puppy playtime. Enough said. I'm mostly black with a thin white stripe between my eyes. It's a little crooked, just one of my beauty marks. And I have a splash of white around my nose that curls down my chin and makes a cute little shape on my chest. My whiskers? 
Now they are funny. On one side of my face, they're white. On the other side, black. I guess I'm lucky they're not green. Now my best feature is my ears. They are what makes me unique. One always stands straight up, the other always flops down. Don't you think that is just the most precious thing? And I love to have my face petted. Well, back to my story. I wasn't always the light of mom's eyes. I used to live in a house where everything wasn't so nice. It was okay at first. I would play and jump on the couch and run around the kitchen. That's where the tooth incident happened. But as I began to grow, my people put a thick collar on me and tied me to a tree in the backyard, even in the rain. I tried to get their attention using my ears, you know, that floppy and straight thing, and I would howl, but nothing seemed to work. It seemed like nobody wanted me anymore. I just sort of gave up. They never came out to play. They would never pet me. One night when it was raining, I pulled at my lead, trying to get on the porch. It was wet. I pulled and twisted and slipped and slithered. All of a sudden, here comes Jesse. I couldn't feel the collar anymore. I was free. Hey, Jesse, say hi. Come here, babes. Come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Yeah, say hi. Say hi. Good girl. You gonna stay there? Right behind me. Oh. Alright. I scratched at the door, but no one answered. It was dark and cold. I looked around and ran along the fence. I found a loose board and pushed it with my nose. The board moved. I pushed a little more, and the board fell off. Wow. I wondered what was on the other side. I squeezed through the hole, and all of a sudden, I was on the other side. I could run and run, say it with me, and run. When I stopped running, I was in a strange place. It wasn't a backyard. In fact, it it wasn't a yard at all. There were no fences, no collars, no people. It was huge with rows and rows of vines growing on big stumps with clusters hanging down. It's kind of scary. Where'd she end up? Being in the vine yard wasn't so bad. Early in the morning, people would walk through the vines looking at the purple things. You know, those clusters. I tried eating them, but they were very sour. Anyway, I knew I had to hide, but I was getting really, really hungry. There was water in the ditches, but the only thing I could find to eat was what the peoples had dropped. Not much. It seemed like I was always hungry. Still seems like that. Always wants to eat. Not huh, Jesse. <laughs> One day, there was this person who kept calling me. Here, boy, here, boy. Can't you tell I'm a girl? <laughs> Just look at me. Do I look like a boy? Anyway, he held out some food. It smelled like a chicken sandwich. 
oh, did my mouth start to water. As I was eating the sandwich, he started to pet me. I didn't know how much I missed getting petted. I couldn't get enough. It felt so good. The man took me to a place called a shelter. There were lots of dogs there. Big dogs, little dogs, old dogs, and puppies. Even some pit bulls like me. The peoples gave me a bath. A girl needs her beauty treatment and some water and treats. <laughs> I like treats. They even petted my face. After a couple of days at the shelter, a family walked between the cages. I don't want a puppy, I heard the lady say. Then they looked at me. We stared at each other. Something clicked. I knew these were my peoples. I had to have them. I wagged my tail, I smiled, I jumped up and down, I tried to squeeze through the cage to get close to them. Everyone in the family petted me. It felt so good. She looks like a pit bull, Mom, the girl said, but it says lab mix on the card. She knows I'm a pit bull, and she can tell I'm a girl. Beautiful and smart. You know your dogs, the shelter person said. She is a pit bull. But she's so cute, the girl said. Look at her eyes, they sparkle. I put on my bestest smile. Aren't you a sweetie, Mom said. See how I called her Mom? There are lots of them around especially in the shelters, the helper person said. Christina, I think her name was. Pit bulls are normally very sweet and affectionate, just like any dog that is loved and cared for. That's my favorite line of the whole book. Just like any dog that is loved and cared for. <sighs> Then they left. I thought I was going home, but they left. Now what was I going to do? I knew I would be stuck at the shelter forever. Poor Jesse, all alone. Later that afternoon, there was a big commotion in the hallway. My family was back, and they brought all their other dogs to meet me, just to make sure. I get along with everyone, so, of course, they loved me. Home I went with Mom, Girl, and three other dogs. What a family. They are so lucky they found me. <gasps> really, I'm the lucky one. They took me to school where I learned to sit and stay and lie down. And I can shake hands. Well, pause. Mom takes me for walks every day. I even get to sleep with her on her big, soft bed. Sure beats being tied to a tree, you think? I love being next to her. Look where she is right now. Hi, Jessie. You're right there. She tells me how pretty I am. She gives me treats, and she tells me I'm a good girl. What more could a girl ask for? And you know what? She pets me. I love having my face petted. 
All right. Thank you so much for listening. That was Jesse, my first book. I've got Jesse, Jesse's Indigestible Incident, and Gotcha. And again, all of them available. You, If you're a teacher, if you're a teacher, you could show them from my YouTube channel. They're all very appropriate for kids. Um, I just talk about different things, having to do with dogs, having to do with rescue um, each time. So um, thank you so much. Let's get the dogs on camera. Let's get this Jesse. Oh, I forgot one of my shout outs. The other shout out is to Hypnotic Dog. Check out Jesse's pearls. She got an early gotcha day present. Hi, Jesse. Hello, hello. Ah. There's Jesse with her pink pearls on. Say thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great Saturday. Please, 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 please go to my website. Donate to Miss Winkles. They're an amazing shelter. Huh, that's where Jesse came from, and they do great things for the community of Clovis. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. See you guys later. Oh, wait, here's Tucker having a cleaning fest over here. Say hi, Tucky. Hey, Tucker. Tucker. Oh, hi, Tucker. Are you going to give me a kiss? There's Tucker and Jesse. Alrighty. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.